Welcome to the Sunday Gardener. We're going to have a look at growing beans. Uh, beans are really easy to grow and they grow very well from seed. These are broad beans which I grew from seed earlier on in the year and there are some French beans which I grew from last year's seed. Now whilst they're really easy to grow they've got slightly different planting requirements and the starting point is the weather. Broad beans are really quite hardy and in some parts of the country you can overwinter them, plant them in the autumn. Can't do it here because it's too cold. French beans and runner beans are much more tender so when you're planting out French beans and runner beans you need to be sure that the risk of frost has passed and that it's not a cold spell because they won't like it. Broad beans you can plant out in much more inclement weather as long as they've been hardened off. The thing about broad beans is that they don't cling or climb and they have a tendency to be quite floppy. This means that when you plant them you have to plant them in a different way to runner beans which will cling to, to, to bean poles. So here made a structure, this is a typical uh, structure for broad beans because they, they will flop you need to create a corridor, a cage and you grow the broad beans up the centre of it so that they can't flop out and end up lying or breaking and this will be plenty of support for them. They're a little bit short at the moment but as they grow up they will grow up and they'll be contained within this framework. A couple of other points about broad beans is they don't grow as tall as runner beans so you don't need such tall supports and also they have a real tendency to get black fly on them at the end of the season on the growing tip so I always nip out the growth points anyway so this is perfectly adequate and tall enough for broad beans. Here's some that I've already planted you'll see that they're planted within the framework of the structure so that it will support them. I'm just going to have a look at um, runner beans and French beans but before I do just a quick tip so I don't forget at the end of the season you can get a second crop from broad beans so when they when they've grown and you'll you'll see at the end of the season they get quite tatty they often get a lot of discoloration on the foliage and they get rust cut them down where you've got a shoot near the base of the plant and if you get a warm enough nice summer autumn you'll get a new shoot growing and you'll get a whole new crop of broad beans small but very very nice and good to have. So here we've got French bean and this is runner bean and you can see the difference in how they grow. So this means with the French bean all runner beans plant them around the pole and they will twine their way all the way up to the top they're very tall you need a good good length for them to grow up and they just plant them in there and they will be self-supporting. In relation to both broad beans and runner beans, I've grown these in toilet roll holders. They are in fact better in root trainers, but I'd run out of root trainers at the time I was planting them. But you'll see that they really get a good long root on them. And that's why you need to sew them into a taller container. These are all ready for planting out now and we'll get a really good crop of beans later on in the summer.